we need to center the child. Like the child is in the middle of all of this. And we need to make sure that we construct our instruction so that, that we are really like growing the writer, growing the reader, and not just enacting a curriculum um, that is somehow divorced from the reader and the writer. We've got to create a space where children's voices can emerge, and that really comes from them making the decision. Well, what, what advice do you give for teachers as you're talking to them about how to give feedback to young writers? Yep. I think um, when I talk with teachers throughout the country, really, um, conferring is the thing that people are most scared of because you walk into a conference with a child and you have no idea what is going to happen. Um, you know, it's, it's a child sitting there with their piece of work and you're walking in to that session just really unsure of what it is that, they, that you're going to talk about. And I really have three like go-to questions. First of all, with feedback, I think the first thing you do is ask questions. Um, and so you do some research by just by figuring out what's going on with this writer. And I have three go-to questions that I usually ask if I don't know what else to ask. And one is, who are you writing this for? Um, the second one is, why are you writing this? And the third one is, how can I help? It should be writer to writer, not teacher to student, but really, you know, I'm a writer too. Let me bring my own insights into this conversation. So I think just the stance that we take as, as teachers, um, should be really as co-writers and you know we're both writers in this classroom let's talk about writing together writing matters with dr troy hicks is a writable podcast discover more episodes and subscribe on your favorite streaming platforms or check out filmed episodes on youtube and if you want to learn how to grow great writers check out writable.com <laughs>